Mark and hey, Mars. Bet with another banger as always. So as everybody know, I'm no money spent, but I have 10 million coins. If you don't know, there's a video on my TikTok that's gonna be linked somewhere in the description. That video is proof that I'm no money spent. People been coming into my stream asking me how I do it, how I snipe, what do I look for, a bunch of questions that I'm about to answer in this video right here. But before we get started, check me out. Not bad. That's not bad. And oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You gotta have fast fingers. You gotta have fast fingers. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. So in today's video, man, we got another sniping update for y'all. Y'all going crazy on my last two sniping videos, especially the most recent one. The most recent one got 20k views, so I appreciate y'all for that, but check me out. We about to do an updated version. All right, so the first question that I get the most when people come into my streams or comment on my videos is how do I do it? And they ask, how do I start? That's the question, how do I start? Okay, so your start can be different from somebody else's, so don't trip, it all depends on however many coins you have. So if you're anywhere between zero to 100k, coins i will recommend first doing solo challenges to get to that 100k mark do solo challenges save up grind sell things if you need to to at least get to 100k if you're anywhere between 100k or like 350 ish or maybe even like four to 500k then you don't want to be in the 96 to 97s you want to be right here in the 92s and 93s and maybe if you can you could be in the 94 to 95 the 92 to 93s will allow you to snipe many cars and the more cars that you snipe, the more coins you make. If you're anywhere from 500K up to a million or even above that, it don't matter. Once you hit 500K, you could be anywhere you want. To be honest, 94 to 95 right now is probably the best sniping filter for simply because of the profit that you can make. I happen to have a couple of examples here from just last night. This is from just last night. As I go into my bids, you can see right now, 75k for this calvin johnson 40k for this aaron glenn that's a 95 so all these cars that i'm buying that's cheap as hell like this michael brockers right here this michael brockers both of them watch this i'm gonna show you as i go to my auctions this is what i sold them for so you remember the two calvin johnsons that i bought for 75k each i sold one of them for 109 and one of them for 104 and then you remember the ronde barber that i bought i pretty much sold him for 70k the michael brockers as y'all saw i bought him for like 40 something k right here 77k he sold for right here 76k he sold for this aaron glenn and i bought for 40k i sniped him for 40k sold him for 78,000 coins that's about a 20 something k profit imagine doing that over and over and over and over again you can make easily 100k in one night off of five auctions if you get good ones like this so i hope i was able to answer that first question for y'all but i'll give y'all a tip real quick so this first tip that i will give you is just patience like it would probably take a couple days two to three to just learn what cards go for certain cards go for more than others so the more you know the better eventually you'll be able to get it to where you're literally like oh i know what that card goes for let me just take it all right, so as promised, it's time to get into exactly what I look for. So this is exactly how I do it. I just go position by position. And as of right now, I see 60K. I'm like, okay, I'm looking for something in the 40s or something low like that. That's what I'm looking for. Those are obvious snipes. As you can see, these are in the 50s. So again, I'm looking for something in the 40s or lower. But right now, I'm just quick scoping. Quick scoping for me is when you just kind of look and just go to the next one. So I look at the first few cards, go to the next one. Have your eyes absolutely laser beamed on that first card because you never know when a 250 coin card could pop up in your face. All right, so little indicators that can help you out with sniping is time. So what you wanna pay attention to is the time on the first card. Like say, this card right here had 47 minutes on it. That means that it's probably been up for a while, which means that it's probably not that good of a snipe. It could be, but it's probably not that good or somebody would have snatched it already. 
another indicator for you will be this pink bar on the side. This pink bar on the side, the bigger it is, the better the filter. So some filters can be flooded and there's a limit to how many it can show at one time. So what you wanna do is, as you can see with this Javante Williams right here. So Javante Williams sells for, obviously right here it says 51K. But when I search up his name, boom, all of these cars that you don't see, you don't see any of these cars. Watch this. You don't see any of these cars. The 64, 69, as you scroll through, you don't see any of them. The time on them is longer, so they're gonna show up when the time gets closer to ending. So pay attention to little indicators like that. The time and the pink bar are the biggest ones. All right, the last and final tip that I'm gonna give you guys is calculation, because calculation is the most important thing in sniping. To be able to calculate how much you're gonna make off a snipe or how much you need to sell him for to at least make your coins back is very essential to sniping. So here's how you do it. I'm gonna have something on screen to show you guys and you can just listen to my voice. So to figure out how much you need to sell him for to at least make your coins back, say you got a bad snipe or something and you know, I'm like, okay, how much do I need to sell him for to at least make my coins back? What you need to do is you need to find a calculator in your house. It could be your phone, it could be whatever. As long as you have a calculator, you need to put whatever amount that you bought him for into your calculator. Then divide that by 0.9. That will give you the amount that you need to sell him for to at least make your coins back. If you wanna figure out the profit for your car, you wanna put however much you want to sell him for into the calculator. So say I wanted to sell something for 70K, I will put 70K into the calculator, then multiply that by 0.9. That's gonna give you the amount that you're gonna get back if you sold him for 70K. Then, if you wanna figure out your profit, you just subtract that from whatever you bought him from. So that's pretty much the gist of sniping. If you have any questions at all, definitely go watch my other two videos first because I may have answered them over there. But I appreciate you for tuning in. Definitely drop a like on the video before you go, and I hope that you return to me again. But just like that, I'm gone.